Hi everyone, this is Karen. Someone was asking me how they would go about making this design with the polka dots around in a circle. That's really very, very easy to do. I'm going to do the lettering first. So first thing I'm going to get is a large E. I'm going to change the font to a serif type of font. This looks like it would work very nicely. So I'll make this bigger and I'll fill it in with pink so it looks like the image that we're working on. I'm also going to change this to a path so that my sizing is correct here. I'm going to fill it with pink. And I'm also going to make the lines pink. Then I'm going to write the name Ellie. And again, I want to change this to a prettier font. When I have a hard time remembering which fonts I have, I go over to Pinterest and I look at my boards because I've got a fonts board here. So I'm going to go further down and find it. There we go. So I'm looking for something that's a script and really pretty. Um, carried away would probably be the one that would really work nicely. So I'm going to type in carried. There we go. It's got a bit of a fancier E. So I'm going to make this larger. I'm going to change the character spacing so that the letters are tighter together and I'll be able to weld them easily. Looking pretty good. Uh, and I'm going to weld that. Click the modify window here and then click weld. And so that's all welded together. And I'm going to fill that with black. I need to fill this one as well. It wasn't together. So I'm going to also group this word together so that I make sure I always get the dot for the I together with the name. So I want that a little bit smaller so it fits on the E nicely, sort of similar to the photo. And now here comes the fun part. Click the ellipse tool, hold down my shift key, draw out a circle, let go of my mouse and then let go of my shift key. I want to make sure that all of that is going to fit in there nicely. Could be a little bit smaller. And then what I'm going to do is move this out of the way. I'm going to look and see if that's how I want all of this together. That's fine. So I'm going to select everything and group them so that they always stay together the way they are. I'm going to bring the circle over here and then I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to center it. So I'm just going to center that to each other. And then to create these dots, it's so simple. Select your circle, choose your rhinestone tool, and I want to fill it. Normally when you would be creating a rhinestone design, you're creating circles that are going to be cut so that you can fill those those circles with rhinestones. So I want to create an edge with circles like this and I want them larger a little bit and I want wider spacing. So you see how that's turning into the same thing as we have in the picture. You change the spacing to what you would like it to be. So this is roughly about what it looks like in the picture. I'm going to fill that with the same pink so that you can see that it really does resemble the picture. And I'll do the lines as well. And there you go. There's that effect. Hope that's been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel.